episode three of the evening here at XFC Demolition Fight Night number one. We have Jordan Sambuco in the corner now. Jordan comes to us from the Boneyard in Geelong, trained by Matthew Miller and Matty Radelak. Debut here tonight at XFC Demolition Fight Night number one. <laughs> Wombat, two cracking contests so far. Number three awaits us. Yeah, we've got Jordan Sambuco. He's coming into the cage now. Mate, he's a pretty long boy himself. Out of Geelong, training out of Boneyard there under Matty Williams and Lanny Williams. Oh, mate, I, this has just been a great start to the night. Fight number three. You know, what's, what can we expect from this, Josh? Oh, look, again here, Jordan's got massive height and reach advantage again. I know I keep harping on it, but we've seen the first two fighters use that advantage so well, so I'd expect something similar here from Jordan. Yeah, and when they were facing off at the weigh-ins yesterday, you could see the discrepancy right. in the height. You couldn't hide it. And here he comes, Anthony Briggs. I'll tell you what, I had a chat to him yesterday. I asked him about that height advantage, mate. He don't care. He's going to get in. He's going to swing. And it's gonna, that's that's the interesting part of this this competition, isn't it? You've got a guy that's probably got a good, you know, six, eight inches reach advantage here, possibly even more. More. Yeah, and uh, and how's Anthony gonna get in on that? Look, he's gotta use his angles really well here. He's gotta move his head a lot. If he stays in one position, that jab will pick him apart the whole fight. But if he can get inside, again, Rodolfo Marquez, trained fighter, got the Brazilian dirty boxing, so gets inside, wears the midsection down, looks for the uppercuts, but, he has to move a lot, use his angles, lots of head movement to get inside that reach advantage. And another couple of guys on debut here, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they come out of the gate. I think they're going to come out swinging. And uh, like Anthony training under Marquez again, uh, might be a shorter guy, but let me tell you, they've got some ground game over there at Westside. Oh, they do. Absolutely, they do. Notable black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Rodolfo Marquez. So, as I said earlier, the Westside fights are always well rounded. This is a bit different for Anthony though. He's dealing with an opponent that's got such huge advantages before the fight even starts. So we'll see what sort of game plan Rodolfo was able to put together. Ladies and gentlemen, this is three rounds in the XFC lightweight division, proudly brought to you by Hollywood Plumbing. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist making his amateur debut this evening. Standing 168 centimetres tall and weighing in at 70.3 kilograms from West Side MMA, presenting Anthony Briggs. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist also making his amateur debut this evening. He stands 189 centimetres tall, weighing in at 70.3 kilograms. Fighting out of the Boneyard MMA, presenting Jordan Sambuco. And when the action begins, your referee in charge of the octagon, Chris Shen. into it very nicely. As we said, the tail of the tape here, reach and height significant for Jordan Sambuco. So let's see what sort of game plan both boys implement here in their debut amateur MMA fight. Oh, I'm keen on this one. I'm super keen on this one. Jordan is, uh, sorry, um, Anthony just looks a bit gritty. A bit, bit of put pit bull style to him. You've seen in, in the three points of interest, mate, strong beard game. <laughs> oh, big oh! left hand, lads! It could be over! over. It is over. He Christian stopped the fight. Stopped it. One shot, one hit, a quitter. Wow. wow. The very first strike he threw. Wow. Planted him, and that is ball game. Unbelievable. Stoppage. Comfortable. Oh, look, mate. We're amateur. Amateur. We're all here. We're all concerned about the, the fighter safety, you know. So, I'm, mate, when it comes to amateurs, you can never disagree with it. Here we go. Here's the shot. Boom. Big left hand on the button, and you know, they, that right nearly clocked him as well. It was a left hook right was, on the button. I'll tell you what, he was trying to get up. That, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Shen called a stop to this bout at six seconds in round one by knockout, Jordan Sambuco. <laughs> <laughs> 